Hey guys, this is Dan Giles coming to you. And I've got some very, very important things to talk to you about today. Two things that are an absolute must when you're doing an apartment turn. And I'm gonna tell you exactly what that is. If somebody moves out of your apartment, what is one of the first things you do? Do you, one, change the locks right off the bat, first and foremost, so that nobody has access? Or do you go ahead and go through all your turn processes, painting, cleaning, carpet cleaning, maintenance, and then, that's number two, and then you change the locks before you let the next person move in? Okay, that's one of the questions I have. Leave me a comment below on what procedure you do on your turn processes. All right, number one on my list of what is very important on every turn that you do is your smoke alarm batteries and your smoke alarms. Most apartment communities have 120 volt smoke alarms with a battery backup. Why do we have battery backup? Everybody knows why. If the power goes out for whatever reason in your area, you got that battery that still will detect smoke and issues like that in your home, your apartment, and it'll still make noise. That's basically what a backup is. So what I want to do is say that it's very important that you take out the battery on your smoke alarms when you're doing a turn. And what I like to do on my smoke alarms, once I take that battery out, I've already unplugged it from the ceiling because this is a couple of steps you want to do. So you definitely want to take it down from the ceiling, unplug it. The plug on the back right there, you can see it. Unplug it, take it down, remove the battery, and one step is to discharge that smoke alarm. Most of the time it'll make a noise and then it'll slowly and gradually go down. This one just beeps, so whatever charge was on it when I took the battery out, it's over. And number two, on the sides of these smoke alarms, you can see that it's open. That's so that smoke can get in there and go across the sensor and detect smoke. And what I like to do, and you may have your own little way of doing it, but I will blow into these openings all the way around to get out any dust that may have settled on the sensor, uh, any spider webs that may have gone across the sensor, whatever it is that's inside on that sensor and dust and stuff, I like to blow it, move it around, get it out of there so that at least the inside of this smoke alarm is clean. Now somebody might like to use canned air. You can, that gets expensive. And then once you do that, go ahead and get your new smoke alarm battery, your nine volt, pop it into the smoke alarm, situate it in how it goes. Close the door and you should be good to go. Now what you want to do is go back and plug this back into your, the plug coming out of the box in the ceiling so that it's engaged with all the other smoke alarms in your unit. Now, one thing you need to remember about smoke alarms and the wiring that goes to the back of it. Sometimes people will get in there and they will disconnect one of the three wires that's going to your smoke alarm. So when you take this one down, give a little tug on those three wires up in the ceiling and make sure they're all connected to where they're supposed to be connected. So that way, this smoke alarm is doing exactly what it's supposed to do, and it's gonna keep your residents safe, because I don't know about you, but I don't wanna be the reason for somebody getting hurt, or, heaven forbid, killed, because this smoke alarm failed. So, it's very important. Change those smoke alarm batteries, blow them out, clean them out, and also make sure that they're within the dates of what a smoke alarm, you know, they have date ranges on them. I know they're making new ones now with lithium batteries that are 10 years. These I think are five. So if you're exceeding that five years on a standard smoke alarm, you may want to consider going ahead and changing it out. Again, you don't want to be the reason that somebody got hurt because the smoke alarm was out of date. That's my first tip. And this is for apartment maintenance, and it also affects homeowners as well. If you own a home, 
put yourself on a regular schedule to change that battery and to blow it out, blow the smoke alarm out, and to check your wiring and plug it back in, make sure that it's functioning properly. It's your home, it's your family, it's your lives. Okay, now number two, coming right up. All right, number two, here you go. This is going to apply mainly to the apartment business. Uh, homeowners, you're not gonna have to worry about this unless you are using your home as a rental. And then it's something you might wanna consider. But what am I talking about? Number two is keys to that apartment. Every time somebody moves out, you want to be changing the keys and the access to this apartment. You want to either rekey it, replace it. If you got smart locks, rekey it through the smart lock. But make sure that you are putting access to that unit on a new key. The last thing you want is some old resident stumbling in, maybe drunk one night into your newly occupied unit and getting into the unit. And the reason being is because they still have a key and you didn't change the lock. Imagine how that's going to go down. It's not going to be good. It's not going to be a pretty sight when they go up to the office the next day and say, Hey, I shot somebody in my apartment because they walked in, said they had a key. So, Always, always make sure you are rekeying the entry door locks on that apartment, on that home, whatever it is you're working on, so that no one has access to that unit except for your existing resident. That's number two. It's simple. It's not very time consuming. The new quick set smart keys, little pin, you rekey it, you, you know, you get rid of the old key recycle it somewhere else on the property, whatever you want to do with that, but make sure that your new resident has a new key that nobody else has got for their new apartment. No surprises and you're out, you're, you're not in trouble. Okay. Hey guys, I appreciate you listening to me. These two tips are vital and they are must do things that you have to do when you're making an apartment ready for a new resident. Don't, don't cut corners on this issue or either one of these issues, okay? This is Dan Giles. I hope this has been helpful to you. I hope you learned something, and I will see you in the next video.